Hi, I'm Cameron. Welcome to CanCam CNC Machines. And today we're going to show you how to determine the best autofocus distance for your Mira. Here you can see a variety of lenses that we have available for purchase. Uh, you can start over here. This is a one and a half inch lens and we go all the way to two inch and then even up to four inch lenses. Now, all of these have a different purpose. Some on the 1.5 inch side or the smaller side, um, they perform better at engraving. And then if you get to the mid range, two inch, two and a half inch, um, those are good all around lenses. And then on the, the furthest distance end here, a four inch lens is best for cutting. So if you need any lenses, just contact us and we can help you out. The reason you wanna consider lenses in this video is that the, as you change your lens, your focal height is going to change. So if you purchase a four inch lens and install it, you're gonna to need to perform this focal height test in order to determine the best distance. The tools required are very minimal. You'll need a scrap piece of wood and then potentially a pen as well. Looking at our controller here, we're going to need to know a few controls. They're very simple. You just need to move the, the laser forwards and backwards on the Y axis, and then access to the Z slash U menu. And we're going to move the bed up and down. On top of that, we will also need to exit this menu and we need to highlight the Z value there in millimeters. Once we autofocus, we'll want to watch that value every time we move the bed up and down. In the Z slash U menu, we're gonna go down to autofocus and we're going to autofocus over that piece of wood. At our starting point here, we're going to send a laser pulse through by pressing the pulse button. A uh, percentage of power should be around 40 to 50%, but it can vary a little bit and it should turn out fine. So we're going to do a laser pulse. And then we're going to move it up very slightly. We're going to go into the ZU menu. We're going to raise the bed up. And our Z value went up about half a millimeter and we're gonna send another laser pulse through. We're gonna hit escape and then pulse. And then we're gonna go up, back to the ZU, raise the bed up, another half millimeter approximately, escape, pulse, and we're gonna continue this pattern until we have four or five dots um, with increasing that uh, bed height each time. So just writing in some of the values here, at our starting point, we are at 6.5 millimeters. And then we went to 6.1 here. And then we went to 5.5 on this one. And we could continue going, but we're gonna go the opposite direction now. So we're going to return back to our starting position and go down from there. So just below our 6.5 millimeter dot there, and then we're gonna get the Z height to go down to around seven if we can. Perfect. And we're gonna do that same procedure in the opposite direction. So hit escape, we're gonna do a pulse. And then we're gonna go down. And then we're gonna raise or lower the bed down about another half millimeter. Send another pulse through, down lower the bed, escape, pulse, and you could continue that pattern until you have a sufficient amount of dots to see the, the pattern of the focal height. So just writing in our values here for the other three dots we did, we had a 7.0 millimeter, a 7.5 millimeter, and this one was 7.9 millimeter. And now we're gonna analyze these dots. So looking at this furthest distance, from the laser head, our dot is the biggest. So that's definitely not what we want. As we reduce that distance to the laser head, to the lens, uh, the dot actually gets a little sharper. So 
It's looking like our value is going to be somewhere between five and a half and six and a half millimeters. Considering our starting point was 6.5 millimeters, it actually seems like we do need to adjust our focal height here and reduce that distance. With your laptop connected to your laser through USB, open Lightburn and go into the edit menu. Go down to machine settings. That'll read your controller settings and then scroll down a little bit. Under miscellaneous, there's focus distance, and we determined that we actually need to change that to 5.5. So we're going from 6.5 down to 5.5 millimeters. Click right, and that saves it to your laser. And then you can click OK and perform a autofocus test to make sure it's saved. So just to verify, our Z value says 5.4 millimeters here. Um, occasionally there is a 0.1 millimeter uh, variance in the value you set and the number that pops up here. So this is no problem at all. It's very close to exactly what we need. Thank you for joining us here at CanCam CNC Machines for our focal height video. We have a bunch of videos on our Mirror 9 and different things that you may need help with. If you wanna see some things that we haven't posted yet, write down below in our comment section, let us know what you wanna see and we'll have some more videos on the way.